it's Caitlin and today I'm going to be filming a couple days that are busy and productive in my life. I'm excited to film these few days for you guys and just give you a glimpse at what I do when I'm not super super stressed for exams like the past two videos. Before we get into the video though, if you guys want to keep up with me and my life and when I'm posting and when I hit subscriber milestones, be sure to follow the Instagram that's on the screen. Appreciate it. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but I would appreciate it. Um, and then if you spam me, sometimes I'll spam you back. Um, if I see, sometimes I'll just go on my feed and see that someone spammed me and I'm like, I'll spam them back. Another thing that I want to talk about is like updates with my major and my classes and my schedule for next year and if I'm staying an extra year or not. Um, updates about all of that. If you guys want to skip that, I'll have the time you can skip to to get to the vlog of the next couple days on the screen. And if you want to stick around for the updates, then just stay right here. So basically, I told you guys last time that I'm definitely going to have to stay an extra semester or two. And that was after I talked to my pre-vet advisor. But yesterday, I went to my College of Natural Science advisor for integrative biology and talked to her. And originally I went to talk to her to pick my concentration in zoology, but turns out I ended up changing my major. I'm not staying an extra year and I figured out my schedule for next year. So a lot of changes happened. So basically I changed my major from zoology to integrative biology. And this is because if I wanna do something else besides vet school when the time comes, I can't really do that with my zoology degree. Like I could, but it wouldn't be the options that I want. But if I do integrative biology, I could take a research based path in life and do like animal based research, which I think would be really, really interesting. Um, as you guys know, I really like the bee research that I work on and stuff. And I sort of was like, if I decide I don't wanna go to vet school, I wanna be able to do something else, you know? So I could go to grad school for research um, with like animal behavior or things like that. And integrative biology will just give me that general broad scope. Um, and it's a lot of the same classes as zoology, so I don't have any issues with like classes not working. All the classes move over, it's just a better degree for me. So basically, I thought I was gonna have to stay an extra year, um, and then my advisor from natural science was like, oh no, you don't have to stay an extra year, like we can get all your classes done over the summer and the next year, and I'll, I'll take like one class genetics, which is really, really hard over the summer and then um next year i'm going to take 14 credits one semester and 16 the next semester that is totally doable for most people for me personally anything more than 12 credits is insane and i really didn't stress that enough to her she was like oh you don't need to stay an extra year and i was sort of like oh but i'm like i don't want to be super stressed and she's like i know you can do it and i was like yeah i can do it but honestly once i made my schedule which i'm going to show you guys i was like there's no way i'm going to be able to do this it's like all really hard classes and like classes that need your full attention, um, like biochem, physiology, cells and development, things like that, like just really big classes. Um, and I just, I think I need to stay an extra semester or two. She told me not to stay an extra semester or two because of money, but like I would rather get good grades and get into graduate or vet school than, you know, save some money and do really poorly because I crammed all these classes into two semesters when it could be three to four semesters worth of classes. Um, if they were easier classes, I'd be able to do it, but they're not easier classes. Um, I'm gonna show you guys that after I'm done talking, but I have one last update for you guys. So I was taking 12 credits a semester, and as you guys saw, I sort of lost my mind the past two weeks. Actually, the past three weeks. Um, I was so focused on studying for organic chemistry and physics, and the exams were like day after each other, um, which I'd normally be able to do. My mental health just sort of went really downhill this semester, and spring semester is always very hard for me, but I sort of hit like rock bottom again um, for a short period of time. and studying for both of those classes while hitting rock bottom was so intense and so painful that um i just didn't end up doing very well in either of them and i had to make the tough decision to drop uh physics 2 which is a combined class that's physics 2 physics lab in one class um i really don't like that class i don't like the setup of it you guys heard me complaining about it i'm gonna take physics online next year um 
because I think I'll do better. I think the exams are a lot different and I've heard much better things about that physics than the physics, like the studio physics, that's the lab and the class combined. Um, so I dropped physics. I'm no longer a full-time student, but I still get my FAFSA because I technically already paid for the class. So I'm fine. My status is fine. I'm just taking like way less credits than I should be, um, which sucks because um, I feel sort of upset about it, but you should never feel bad for making a decision that's this tough. You should never feel bad for having to drop a class or take a semester off. If that's what you need, you need to do it. Um, that's a brave move. That's not an embarrassing move. So I'm proud of myself for like dropping that class, but um, yeah, I don't know. I've talked a lot already. I'm gonna show you guys my schedule um, for next year before I change it to three or four semesters instead of two. And um, yeah, sorry for so many updates. I just wanted to keep you guys posted on like what's happening with my academic life. I could have definitely made a whole video for this, but like I just wanna add it into a vlog. Um, and yeah, I appreciate all of your guys' support and your good wishes. And if any of you guys are going through the same thing, I feel for you. Um, I hope that this helped you decide what you need to do in your situation. Um, and with all that being said, let me show you what my potential schedule would be for next year. I have it on Notability. So the thing that sucks is I had spent two or three hours yesterday trying to figure out what my schedule is gonna be like for next year. It does not look that bad, guys. It looks doable. But if you look closely, biochem is one of the hardest classes here. IH isn't bad. Um, lab isn't bad. Lab isn't bad. Evolution's like, okay. But second semester, physio, physics at the same time, physics lab, anatomy and biology of vertebrates and cells and development. Those are all really hard classes um, besides physics lab. I like physiology and physics are both classes that like take a lot of your time and anatomy and biology of vertebrates is like anatomy and biology like you would take for humans but of all vertebrates so it's like or a lot of vertebrates so it's like it's just a lot <laughs> I guess it doesn't look that bad but for me personally I know myself too well I cannot do this much I take so much time to do things that normally take people like no time at all um, I'm very thorough with what I do, and I know that I won't succeed next year if I do this. So I'm really gonna have to replan how this looks. Try to figure out a new way. I think I might just add one more semester and try to split up. Like, like the first semester is not gonna be too bad. It's just gonna be the second semester that's like gonna kill me. So I'm, I'll figure it out. Um, I'm like a little embarrassed that I won't be able to do this because I feel like normally people would. But I just, I'm being real with myself and I know that I won't be able to do it. So that's hard to say, but um, I want to do well. I want to succeed and I need to be real with myself if I want to succeed. So that's the move for now. And with all that out of the way, I'm going to study a little bit before my 1240 class. It's 1120 right now. So I have an hour to study. Um, and then I'm going to go to my class and then come home and... Yeah, take you through the next couple days with me. So I'm going to take some of my book notes before class for animal behavior. And then I already annotated the, like, highlighted, annotated the um, textbook. I'm just taking the notes on what I highlighted. And yeah. So that's what I'm going to do before class, and then I'll get ready. Okay guys, so I got the sweater from Urban. I sort of like it, but at the same time, 
I don't really like it. <laughs> it's like okay, but it's nothing like super special. Um, I have the tag on it still. I'm gonna wear it today and see if I like it and then probably return it. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it just like, my face looks funny in it. But if you want the sweater, it's from Urban. I think it was on sale. Um, and then I'm wearing my Sorel boots. And I'm gonna go to Animal Behavior from 1240 to 2 now. Hey guys, it's four o'clock and I just got back from my class and research and I just ate some lunch. I have some studying to do, but I am studying tonight with Diana and Ezra, so I'm not sure if I'm going to um, study before then too or just study tonight. I'll probably end up studying before then. I think I'm gonna like start recopying my lecture notes from today. If you are new to this channel and don't know, basically what I do in organic chemistry and animal behavior is they don't provide you like the PowerPoints or anything. It's basically all your information is what you've gotten in class. So what I do is I take the notes in class and then I recopy them neater and try to retain the information when I recopy them. Um, just so I learn better. I find that it really helps me personally. Um, I don't I don't know how it would help you or if it would work for you but if you're struggling in a class that is ba like they don't give you the PowerPoints or anything to write on or they use a chalkboard or something like that try rewriting your notes to retain the information. Um, <clears throat> I even with classes that have PowerPoints and stuff I feel like it would be useful still. If any of you guys try that, let me know how you like it. It does take a lot more time, especially if you're rewriting them and making them neat, but I think the payoff is worth it. So, depends on what you want to do. So yeah, I'm going to get to recopying the notes, and then I'm going to go study with Diane and Ezra tonight. I'm supposed to go bowling with a club that I'm in, and I'm not sure if I'm going to that or not, but we'll see. So as you guys know, I take the lecture notes in class, and then I record the audio as well. And in Notability, you can jump to where the audio was playing when you were writing something. Um, just showing this again for the new viewers. So what I do is I copy these notes from Notability straight into GoodNotes in my IBIO 313 lecture notes thing and make them all neat and put figures in because we're not given the figures. So I have to remake them or find them online. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna do a screen recording for this. Let me know if you guys like the screen recording. I still can't decide whether I like the screen recording or like recording the screen with my phone. Um, the screen recording is easier. Just let, let me know what you think. Hey guys, I did some studying and did some video editing too, 
and now I'm going to go study at Owen Hall with my friend Diana and my friend Ezra and I'm gonna study either until 8 and then go to a club event or I'm just gonna study the rest of the night. Either way, we're studying. <laughs> okay guys, so it's 8 p.m. and I've been editing my video since I got to Owen. Um, I'm finally gonna get to studying while my video's exporting. I'm having like issues exporting it. So I'm just gonna have it export and then start on studying and I'll probably be here till at least midnight. Okay guys, so it's like 10 o'clock now. I spent from six o'clock until 10 o'clock trying to get that video to export and I'm not happy about it. But I'm gonna move on to my organic chemistry lab stuff because I have to do this by tomorrow because I have lab tomorrow. So I'm not gonna get to my studying like I thought I was. I'm just going to do um, the procedure for the lab. I did end up getting the video uploaded and it's doing pretty well right now. So um, go check out the satisfying iPad note taking compilation if you want to. Um, I'm glad I finally got that uploaded, but now I'm gonna take my experiment five notes for tomorrow and hopefully finish these pretty quick. Okay, so it's 11.50 now. I finished um, my procedure and then I finished the material safety data sheet for all the um, harmful compounds that we're using in lab tomorrow. So now that I finished this, I'm either gonna move on to animal behavior or organic chemistry because I'm still awake. Diana just left, but um, I think she's coming back. Or I hope she comes back at least and now I'm gonna get to more studying. Okay guys, it's like 2 a.m. now and I'm done studying and I'm gonna stay the night at Diana's and then I'll update you guys after, probably after class tomorrow morning. Morning guys, so I'm drinking my coffee. It's a little past 10 and I have to leave for class at 10.40. Um, I'm going to my lab this morning um, from 11 to two. So I sort of like lab. I don't really like how long the class is like idea of it but then I get to lab and I have a really good time so I'm not too I'm not too pressed about it um I ended up studying until like two like you guys saw and then I went to bed at, by like three and slept until nine so I got a good six hours of sleep I should sleep more but um I have this weekend to catch up and then spring break is the week after next so I'm gonna spend spring break trying to get my sleep schedule back on track and trying to like reset my life. If you guys want a reset routine video, um, I can't promise I'll make it, but um, if you guys really wanna see that, just let me know and I'll, I'll try my best. Cause over spring break, I'm gonna try and reset everything in my life. For class, usually like I'll do some like housekeeping, um, answer some emails and stuff, but I don't really have time. So I'm just gonna chill out. I'm gonna look at my YouTube analytics since I just posted a video last night and I'm just gonna chill. I had made breakfast, but I didn't like film any of that just cause I'm a little groggy, a little tired. And yeah, I love you guys and I will update you guys after lab.
Hey guys, so my lab got out early, 30-ish uh, minutes early. Um, I stayed in the chem building for a minute because I had to wait in line to go to the bathroom <laughs> before I walked home. Um, I walked home, I got two coffees from the clubhouse, uh, the free, <laughs> and I'm going to study the rest of the day. I do have a PMHA training session tonight, 9 to 10, so that is the only other obligation I have today. So what I'm going to do is um, study literally until 9 o'clock tonight. It's, um, what, like 2 right now? 2-ish? I'm going to study till 9. Then I'm going to go to my meeting, and then depending on how I feel after, I might study after, because I have an orgo quiz tomorrow at 9 a.m., and I have not even finished the class notes for it. Like, I need to finish the class notes and study for that, so I literally know nothing for it. If I took it right now, I'd get a zero on it. So, um, I have a lot, a lot of studying to do. I think what I'm going to do first is finish my animal behavior notes, because there are people who didn't go to class that I need to send the notes to. And then I'm going to do some of my bee research. I'm trying to do at least an hour a day um, just because I fell really behind the past month with exams and stuff. And I'm supposed to do at least five to 10 hours a week. So if I do an hour a day, then I'll definitely have um, the required amount of hours per week. So um, I'm gonna get to that. And then, um, yeah, we're just gonna study the rest of the day. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so I'm done with my bee research. It's now... Where's the time? Oh, <laughs> it's now 5.40 and I'm gonna get to recopying my animal behavior notes because like I said, I need to send them to some people who weren't able to make it to class. And yeah, I'm gonna make those notes and hopefully it won't take too long and then I'm gonna study for my orgo quiz. Okay guys, it's now seven o'clock. I finished all of my notes. Um, it took me a while, but uh, it's worth it because it helps me retain the information. I need to start studying for Orgo. I really don't want to, but I need to because my, my quiz is on, well, my quiz is tomorrow at 9 a.m. So I should get to that. Probably end the video here because I'm just gonna be taking my quiz in the morning and I won't be able to film anything. So, Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below any video recommendations, the, your thoughts, how your day is, um, anything literally. Don't forget to like this video. I appreciate you guys so much. If you got to the end of the video, let me know down below. Um, I think it's insane that people watch literally a whole video when it's like my a day in my life. It's just, it, 
blows my mind. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you next week in another video. Peace out, guys.